Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here and I am back again with another Creative Cow tutorial and in our ongoing look at learning Avid's Media Composer and Symphony, I thought for this lesson I'd answer a question that was asked to me by one of my viewers. Now he asks a couple questions but in here most importantly he asks, what about credits? I just finished an indie feature and animated the rolling credits inside of After Effects. Oh, I love After Effects, don't get me wrong, but you're working in Media Composer. Why wouldn't you stick in Media Composer to do all your credits? He says it worked great. Would it be as easy in Marquee? Thanks again for the terrific tutorials. Best, Vern Matson. Well, Vern, I'm going to answer your question here, and what we're going to do is we're going to keep the Marquee tutorials going on here. And we're actually going to look at how to do credit crawls and credit rolls inside of Marquee and inside of the standard title tool. Okay, short introduction here. Let's just get into Symphony and let's get started. Okay, so let's Alt tab into Avid's Symphony. Obviously that is a command tab for all of my Mac friends out there. And like I said, we're gonna be doing this tutorial in Marquee, but what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna throw in the standard title tool as well because I wanna show you how similar things are across both of those two titling applications. Okay, you know what, why don't we just start out in the basic title tool. What I'm going to do is navigate over to Clip and I'm going to come down to New Title. Now, what we're going to do here is I'm going to select the standard title tool and what we're going to do is just minimize both applications because on my desktop here, I do have a credit crawl. You can see I did a, a lot of stuff in this production from producing, directing, you know, even down to I was the guy that did the coffee truck run. Uh, I ate some donuts. I was the tarantula wrangler. I was even the onset surgeon. So I, you know, I can, you can see I did a, quite a lot of tasks on this job. So what I want to do is I want to be able to take this information here. And what we want to do is just copy and paste it into a credit crawl inside of the standard title tool and inside of Marquee. So what I'm going to do is just select all the text. I'm going to hit Control and C on Windows Command and C for all my Mac friends out there. And let's get back into the actual title tool here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these two buttons here in the lower right hand corner titled appropriately enough crawl and roll. Now for what we're doing we want to do just a standard roll. So I'm going to click roll. Now as soon as I turn roll on you're going to see that something shifts over here on the right hand side of the screen. You'll see I now have another bar here that I didn't have before but there's actually nothing on the bar. It doesn't actually do anything. Well it doesn't do anything yet because I don't have any text inside of the title tool. So what we're going to do is with our credits uh, copied, we're going to come over and I'm going to use the text tool and in the upper left hand corner right beside title safe, I'm going to click and simply hit control and V on Windows, command and V on the Mac and you'll see, well that's kind of weird, the only thing that's appeared is the onset surgeon. Well that's not quite right because I produced it and directed it, etc, etc. But something, has, uh, something else has happened that you may not have noticed. If you look over here on the right hand side inside that bar that had appeared, we now have another bar that's appeared, a smaller bar, and down here you'll see that we have the number four, which is telling me that right now, currently, we're on page number four. So if I actually grab the bar here and I drag all the way up, you'll see there are all the credits in my crawl. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to select everything by hitting Control and A on Windows, Command and A on the Mac. Let's just shrink the size down here to be, I don't know, about 28 maybe. I think that's looking pretty good. and. Just like in our last tutorial, I think I'm going to choose Gil Sands. I like Gil Sands, just not bold. That's looking good. And of course, we're going to need a drop shadow on this in case we happen to put it over top of anything, like such. And maybe what we'll even do is we'll even give it a soft drop shadow here. Control Shift and H on Windows, Command Shift and H on the Mac. I'll simply say apply. And believe it or not, that's really it. What we want to do now is simply say file, and I'm going to say save title as. And what's going to happen here is that I'm going to save it into the graphics bin. We're going to call this standard title tool uh, roll. And I'm going to say go. And you'll see that what's going to happen is, is that that roll was saved out into my bin right here. I'm going to double click on it. The only problem is it's like super long. You'll see that if I hit T on the keyboard on both Mac and Windows, this is like three minutes long. And that's way too long. So how do I actually get in and determine the length of this crawl? Well, what we're going to do first so why don't we just grab a couple shots here. Let's see if I got some footage here. Maybe we'll just grab some, I don't know, maybe we'll grab some motocross. It doesn't seem to want to open that. Let's open gliding. There we go. Perfect. I'm just going to grab a bunch of gliding shots here. We'll just put them back to back here. And why don't we make this an interesting little credit crawl? Simply because we can. And one of the things that you run into is in a lot of cases you want footage to dictate how long your titles are. 
This is actually a good example of that. So what we're going to do is just again, just edit all these into the timeline, no length specific here. There we go. So you can see it's about 40, 48 seconds and 19 frames. And I think for kicks, what we're going to do is I'm just going to put a dissolve in between all these here, apply. And what we want to do is because you saw that we had the title roll rolling up the left side, why don't we shrink this footage down? So what we're going to do is we're going to mark the entire timeline and I'm going to hit uh, function and nine or the F9 key on my keyboard, which is my shortcut to collapse these layers down. Now that I have these layers collapsed down into essentially one segment, what I'm going to do is simply hit control and eight on Windows command and eight on the Mac. Let's come down to my favorite tool inside of blend, the 3D warp tool. I'm just going to hold alt on Windows option on the Mac to add that title. And let's just shrink this down here. I'm going to put the scaling at about 50%, I think. Um, that's probably okay. I mean, remember, we put the drop shadow on the text. So why don't we now take this? I'm just going to slide it over to the right here. That's not too bad. And let's put in our credit crawl. Now, you'll remember before, I was asking, how are we going to determine or how are we going to get in and manipulate this title role to make it the duration we want? Well, the great thing is that I don't actually have to. With the entire timeline selected, all I'm going to do is simply hit T on the keyboard to mark the entire clip, and I'm going to hit B to edit this in, and you'll see that Symphony here has figured out exactly how long it has to make the crawl, and you'll see, if you look closely, we even have the drop shadow there. You'll see that Symphony's figured out what it needs to do to have this title crawl start off the screen, this title roll start off the screen at the beginning, and be off the screen at the end. Now, you'll remember right here, we've got blue dot and a green dot. Blue dot means must be rendered. So I'm going to hit Shift and F2, which is my shortcut for render. And I want you to see how fast this renders in HD. Take a look at that. What is that? 12 seconds, maybe? It's actually 12, 14, 19. You know, it's working on it right now. But it'll probably be about 12 seconds before it's done. And I guarantee you that's a lot faster than going into Photoshop, typing out what you want, saving it out, going into After Effects, animating, rendering out of After Effects. Don't get me wrong, I love After Effects, but you need to use the right tool for the right job. And this is an editing application. And one thing that we do all the time is create credits. And here are our credits right here. You'll see it works perfectly. You'll have to ignore my phone beeping in the background there. But you see this works perfectly. It stretches out the exact length of our footage. Very, very cool. Now, of course, what we can do as well, I'm just going to remove this. Let's go back into the title tool here. Let's just make sure I have it closed, which I do. And we can actually close this for right now. Just close that. What we're going to do is we're going to come back up to clip. I'm going to come down to new title. Simply select the title tool again. And of course, now what we're going to do is a crawl. And we're going to say, this is a test. And what we want to do is put it right over here. Again, a title safe. This is a test. And what we can do now is start to stretch it over a bit. And you'll see that I can stretch pretty far. Let me come all the way back here. And of course, we're going to say that with our title tool selected here, our text tool, this is a test of the E-M-E-R-G-E-N-C-Y. There we go. Broadcast system. This is only a test. Now, of course, much like we did with the role, what I can do now is simply just drag over to see everything that I typed. This is only a test. Now, of course, we go over a little, too, we go over a little, little far. So let's just adjust our. There we go here. And stretch it out a little bit. You see, it's a little bit tricky. There we go. We want it to come to about there. Perfect. Because we don't want too many extra pages in here. So now that we have it the way that we want, what we're going to do is simply again say file, save title as. You'll see it pretty much saves this title, inst or this title instantly. So we're going to call it title tool crawl. And of course, we want that to be a capital C here. There we go. I'm going to say save. Again, pretty much instantaneous to the bin. Again, what we're going to do is take the crawling title. You'll see. Again, it stretches over the length of three minutes. But what we're going to do is just drop it in here. And of course, once we render our blue dot effect, we're going to have our little test of the emergency broadcast system that's going to crawl along the bottom of the screen. Now, you know, a bit of a downside that it's a blue dot, you know, considering the type of stuff that we can do inside a marquee. But you know what? Guess what? I don't need to leave Media Composer. I don't need to leave Symphony. I can just sit here right in the comfort of my own edit system, do what I got to do, and the client can approve it or, you know, make changes right away. Okay, so here we go here. 
This is a test. I'm not going to subject you to this. I'll just sort of fast forward here. There we go. This is only a test. Look at that. Disappears from the screen right as we get to the end of our footage. Okay, so let's see how we do the same technique inside of Marquee. So what we're going to do is just make sure that we have our title tool closed, which we do. I'm simply going to say new title. And of course, I'm going to say Marquee. Of course, what I need here first is I need my crawl again here. So I'll just select everything. Control and C on Windows, Command and C on the Mac. Let's go back into Marquee. Now again, much like we did in the standard title tool, what we're going to do is simply click on Roll, just like such. Now you'll see once I do, a bounding box appears inside of the Marquee window. And all I'm going to do now, and you'll see as soon as I select the text tool, that bar has appeared again. All I'm going to do again is paste this in, and you'll see that much like inside of the standard title tool, we have the exact same functionality here inside a marquee. And what we're going to do here is I'm actually just going to adjust the size of the text, but of course we're just going to show all the toolbar buttons. There we go. Very nice. Of course we're going to do Gil Sands again. Why not? Maybe we'll make it, I don't know, uh, maybe make it 38 point size. That's not too bad. And you'll see that what we can even do is we can even see it moving through here. Let's actually come back here. There we go. And you can see it gives us a preview of what it's going to look like over the span of five seconds. Now, if I was to save this out to the bin like this, it would create... Now, this is assuming that I save it out not making any adjustments. And what I encourage you to do is that, you know, if for some reason you try to save this out of the title tool in Marquee and it doesn't give you the same functionality as that rolling title, it means you've gone in and you've added a parameter that doesn't support or is not supported in the rolling crawl or rolling uh, roll, I guess. Um, uh, title so that you can go in and adjust it dynamically like you saw that I did in the timeline. Now, when I save this out, it would save it out as a three minute title. I'd be able to take it, adjust its length, drop it into the timeline, good to go. But let's say hypothetically I wanted to do something a little bit more advanced. Now, I'm actually going to be doing an advanced, uh, an advanced title role tutorial coming up after this one. But let's say we wanted to do these titles, oh, I don't know, let's say in 3D. How would we do that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, come up to my file. I'm going to come down to uh, duration. That's what we want, duration. Maybe I'll make this, I don't know, 20 seconds here. And I'll say OK. And what we're going to do now is with our text, there's our text right there. I'm just going to select it. And of course, what I'm going to do is just enable lighting. Of course, as soon as I do, we want to adjust where that light is. There we go. Very nice. And what I also want to do here with my text is I want to come to Window, I want to come down to Properties, and I want to come down to Effect, and I want to make it 3D. Very cool. So I can actually have, can I? Is it possible to have text that's going to be in 3D doing the crawl? Well, it absolutely is. So why don't I take this and why don't I render this out? What I'm going to do is say Save All to Bin. Now it's going to warn me. It's going to say, hold on a second. The rolling title has been changed from the standard roll template. What that basically is telling me is that I'm not going to have that dynamic flexibility with the title that I had when I saved it out of the title tool. So what it's basically saying is if you want a standard roll, you should cancel and reset the template by highlighting the roll and clicking on R. But like I said, we know what we're doing. We want this to be in 3D. What's also What it's also going to do is it's going to cut it off at 20 seconds. Now, of course, you saw that when I scrolled down, the text, because it's a roll, automatically in marquee rolls right off the screen. So we're okay. So I'm going to say okay. Now remember, again, this is 3D extruded text doing a title roll inside a marquee, rendering out for Media Composer and Symphony right now. And you can see how lightning fast this process is. I guarantee you, you would not get faster results inside of After Effects than you would here with 3D extruded text. It's the extrusion that slows everything down in the process. And again, of course, remember, I can add motion blur to this. And what's going to be really cool in the next lesson is I'm going to show you how we're going to get in. We can actually add logos and things like that into our title crawls, which, you know, is a big thing. You know, if you have, you know, uh, let's say cars were provided by Toyota. I'll just use that as an example. Let me just save this to the bin here. You know, you have cars, you know, cars provided by or cars courtesy of Toyota, and you want to have that Toyota logo in there. Well, we're going to be able to take a Toyota logo. I'm not going to use Toyota. I'm just using it as an example. But we would be able to take that logo, bring it in, drop it into our role, and actually animate it and render it out for our timeline. 
But of course, you know, a little bit of a tease, that's going to be happening in our next lesson. It's a good thing that I always have these teases ready to go for long, you know, pauses that we might have, like when we're rendering out titles or things like that. Um, but again, these are all relatively quick uh, renders and exports from Marquee to your MIDI Composer or Symphony Timeline. I think we're probably going to have one more pass after this. And then we'll be all set to go. Again, remember, this is HD that we're working in. So everything that's being rendered out is HD quality. Obviously, if you're working in standard F, the process will be much quicker. Okay, so last pass here, creating uncompressed alpha media. Once it is done, we're going to be able to play this back. And let's just make sure we're actually in that symphony right now, which we are. So here we go. It's finished. And there we go. Let's just go back to Media Composer here, or Symphony. There we go. There is the animated title here. And you'll see now, there is my 3D extruded text. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a new timeline here. Actually, you know what? Maybe what we'll do is we'll take that timeline back. And I'll just shorten it up a little bit here. We'll just take our entire roll here. I'm going to drop it in. We'll just make it exactly that length. And what's actually very cool about this is that it's not a blue dot, it's a green dot. Why? Well, because remember, it's not dynamically adjustable. And this is actually very cool. 3D extruded text rolling inside of MIDI Composer Symphony in real time. Awesome. So I hope this tutorial has shown you. Now, of course, I should point out that the crawl will work exactly the same as I just showed you with the roll. So keep that in mind. The crawl, just as simple as the roll. And, you, you know, really, what you saw in Marquee and what you saw in the standard title tool were essentially mirror images of each other. There really is no uh, workflow difference between the two of them. So getting in and creating standard rolling titles within a certain duration, very easy. Or step it up and do what I just showed you right here and create very cool 3D extruded text inside your rolls, quick and simple, that are going to wow and amaze your clients every time. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, or you have any tutorial requests, you can send them to Kevin P. McAuliffe at gmail.com. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.